Oleksandr, Ilya and the rest of the crew are on the move, leaving the capital Kiev. Their destination, a military drill. But this isn't just for any group of soldiers. They're known as the drone hunters, and their mission is to locate and shoot down enemy drones before they can do any damage to population centers. We work from the moment the combat mission is announced, our mobile groups start moving into position. Once there, we wait for information about where the Shahid drones are coming from. Shahid drones are made in Iran and are designed to carry explosives which detonate on impact, causing immediate devastation. The sophisticated weaponry donated by the West won't be seen in the fight here. It's mostly reserved for the front lines. The squad here depend on aging Soviet-era kit, coupled with locally produced ammunition. It's not an ideal solution, but one born out of necessity. This is a modernized version of Dishku. Its firing range is 3.3 kilometers. It's good and very comfortable to work with against air-based targets. I can't say anything bad about this weapon. It's very good for this kind of work. No one opens fire without me. Only after I start shooting or turn on my laser to aim at a Shahid, then we start firing. Everything else is just a waste of ammunition. Before the hunting teams were set up, Russian fire drones could easily enter densely inhabited regions, resulting in serious damage and civilian casualties. And this is what a drone assault in Kiev center looks like. But now, many drones are being stopped long before they can reach populous areas. The importance of this team's work was highlighted last week when they intercepted at least 100 drones heading for Kiev. Their work also lightens the load on the country's traditional air defense system. But there are obstacles in their path, and they're significant and many. The difficulty is that, first of all, there are a lot of drones and they are launched in waves. They try to tire us out. We also work in difficult conditions at night, in the rain, in the snow. All this affects our work. Ukraine is trying to adapt as the nature of this war evolves, merging legacy tech with contemporary unity. This brigade embodies Ukraine's relentless spirit to win this war. Axel Zaimovich, TRT World, Kiev.